fit tonight with his <laughs> Christmas tie. I think wow. Craig's in the, in the spirit. He's going, no, it's not too early. <laughs> no, never. And I love Cashman's coat. I want that. I know, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. We were uh, actually cleaning house and we put some Christmas carols on. Nice. And no. Holiday music. And two hours later, I'm like, okay, I feel good. <laughs> it's got in the spirit. Yeah. Uh, it's hard, though, because it's been so dry. You know, no rain, not a yeah. whole lot of snow. It doesn't look bad but out it's, there tonight. It's cold, but though, now. It is. It is right. getting cold. You're right. Yeah, very cold. Um, and we, Especially now, the cold air is settling on in. Nice start to the day. We had enough sun to get up to 55 degrees, but once those clouds came in after about 1 o'clock or so, boy, those numbers dropped quickly. 49 is where we started the day. Uh, average for this time of year is 51. We only added about uh, two one-hundredths of an inch of rain to the bucket and not a whole lot coming through tonight. Here's what we look like as we look out over Seattle a little bit uh, windy at times. South winds at eight miles per hour. Humidity up to 72 percent. Mostly 50s up and down. We've got some cooler air, of course, once you go into the Cascades and into the Olympic range. A couple of spotty showers into the higher elevations, but not much at all right along the coast. Most of this just kind of fizzing out once it hits the uh, once it hits the mountains. So a few light spotty showers through eight o'clock tomorrow morning, a dry weekend ahead and then late Saturday into Sunday. We'll watch for some haze coming up our direction from those uh, wildfires down in Southern California. The wind patterns in the higher elevations will pick some of that smoke up, bring it our direction, kind of like we saw a couple days ago where you see that orange hint over the sky. So we'll watch for that late Saturday, more so on Sunday and into Monday. Here we go with UW high resolution model, eight o'clock, a few scattered showers across the northwest interior. 10 o'clock, maybe some light scattered showers for Tacoma. You've got a few light scattered showers, mainly into Snow uh, Snohomish and Pierce County. And then this is going to be through early tomorrow morning. That's uh, 1230 in the morning by six o'clock. A few light showers close to Everett. Most of the commute will be cloudy, and that's about it. By 12, we start to see some clearing as far as rain's concerned. And by 5 o'clock, we'll see some clear conditions with the mid and high level clouds. Rainfall totals, not a lot, as you can see along the coast, maybe four tenths of an inch of rain. Tonight, we do drop into the 30s, another chilly night, and then tomorrow's highs back into the 50s. Here's a look at the next seven days. Uh, dry weekend ahead, great for the two games this weekend on Saturday. Looks like we have a chance for some light spotty showers on Wednesday, and we'll watch for that chance potentially into Thanksgiving Day. Mark and Lori.